Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Chris Gilson in the forecast. Hi, Chris. Hi, Elizabeth. We're going to have another chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms today. The best chance will be along the mountains of New Mexico, and that chance will continue as we head into Tuesday. It's not going to be as widespread on your Tuesday and Wednesday. By the end of the week, things get a little bit more interesting. This high pressure system eventually pushes off to the east northeast. That will allow for a little bit more moisture to work in for at least the western half of the state, giving the western portion of New Mexico a better chance for some more rain. Well, storms are indeed helping firefighters battle wildfires here in New Mexico. This is the Herosa fire burning in the Pecos. Fire crews are fighting it from above, which means there will be no barriers set around it. Officials say the cooler temperatures, humidity and rain has helped slow down the spread of this wildfire. It's burned a little more than 11,000 acres. Then down south in the Gila, the Silver Fire hasn't grown since Friday with the help of the weather. Firefighters are now taking a good look at the burn scar, hoping to prevent flooding. The Silver Fire has burned almost 140,000 acres and is 80% contained. Well, we do expect to learn more today about the city's latest officer involved shooting. Albuquerque police recently shot and killed a man. It happened Friday at the Montgomery Crossing Shopping Center off of San Mateo and McLeod. APD says 66 year old Vincent Wood lunged at officers repeatedly with two 10 inch butcher knives. One of the officers recognized Wood as someone she had dealt with in the past who had mental health issues. And the chief says that as a result, a crisis intervention officer was dispatched to the scene, but that officer apparently got there too late. Schultz says that the female officer who opened fire on Wood says she did so because he continued to lunge at them. We are hoping to learn more about this incident this afternoon during a news conference. We'll keep you posted. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.